Hi viewers, welcome to a new video. In this video, let us see how to program 8086 microprocessor to insert a character at the end of the string. Say here, I have a particular string, Anu7 with me. Uh, sorry, I have a string Anu with me. So I want to insert a new character at the end of this string. Say I want output, desired output, what I am expecting is I want output to be HEANU7. So this 7 I want to insert at the end of the string. So for that, uh, what is the logic I am implementing in this program is first define this HEANU in the data segment and in the same data segment you also define a character char like this char db in single quote 7. So this is the desired character which I want to insert. So after that, in the main program, what you have to do is you have to compare uh, this input string hanu7 with one special character dollar. I will take in the input string hanu and dollar also. We already know that every string in the computer's memory will end with special character that is dollar. So here I have to manually hanu dollar in the input string itself. Then in the main program, that is in the code segment, what I am doing is, I am comparing by using the instruction CMP, I am comparing this uh, dollar, special character dollar with each and every character in the input string. So for that what I will do is, I will take SI and I will make SI as a pointer to the input string, SI will be pointing to the input string, right? So by using instruction LEA. SI, comma, what is whatever the string name? Say for example if the string name is A, then I will write L E A SI comma A. Then this SI will be acting like a pointer to the input string. After that I will copy that the first character which is uh, pointed out by SI into the AL like this. Move AL comma content of SI. So the first character which is being pointed by SI I will be copied into AL, that means H is there in AL, then I am comparing AL with dollar. I am comparing AL with dollar. So if the, uh, compare, if the comparison is successful, if the character is matching with dollar, I will simply insert the new character. If it is not matching, I will increment it. So obviously what happens? In the first case it will not match, second it will not match, third it will not match, fourth it will not match. And wherever the dollar is there in the string, I kept it at the end of the string, so it will match with that. And whenever it matches with that one, then I will go to the new loop in the program, that is new subroutine in the program, like insert. I will take a new label in the program, sorry, not subroutine. I will take a new label in the program, insert. It will go to the insert label, and there it will simply copy into the location wherever this SI is pointing. This SI is pointing right now in this memory location. There the comparison will become successful. So in that location, into the SI location, I will copy the character. Then my desired output will be available as HA and U7. The character is 7. So whenever it reaches up to this location, I am replacing the dollar with 7. So we will get the desired output on U7. So this is how we will insert a new character at the end of the string. So for this, the programming part and the execution part, we will see now. I have defined Hanu and I have ended that string with the dollar. Then I have created five duplicate values with this command adb 5 dup of 0 because uh, the next character which I want to save, it should not come exactly uh, in front of the, the desired character which we have defined. So while, while looking at the output, you may get confused. You may get uh, Hanu 7, 7 like that. So that's the reason why while defining the input, I define my input string first with a special character dollar and then I, cre I created five duplicate values that means five dots you can see if you open the computer's memory. After that I have stored my input uh, another characters that is seven. In the code segment you can see here the first two statements are data segment initialization then I used uh, this instead of LE I used offset here move si comma offset str this will uh, do what 
it will load the effective address of this str string str is nothing but anu dollar and it will it will calculate the value uh, that is 20 bit physical address of str and it will store that into si then after that uh, what we are doing is as i uh, explained we are copying the content which is which si is pointing si is initially pointing to the first location where h is there so we are copying the content of si to al and i am comparing that h with dollar content of si is nothing but h which is there in al right now and then i am comparing cmp al comma dollar so after that what i am doing is i am writing a code jump if equal if the comparison is successful go to this loop i mean go to this uh, label which i have inserted in the program with, with name insert if it is not successful it will increment si right so in the first case h is not matching with dollar so it will increment si si will point to the second memory location where a is there and i wrote here jump again it will go back to the again label this is the again label so from here it will go to again label and ag again what we will do move al comma content of si this time a will come into al again we are comparing a with dollar not matching increment si jump to again then n with dollar not matching increment si again then we will u with dollar not matching increment si then uh, next time dollar is copied into al because this time you are after incrementing si uh, four times the next character is dollar so the dollar will be copied into al and we are comparing al the content of i mean uh, uh, what is there in al dollar so dollar is getting compared with dollar so it is matching so jump if equal this condition is satisfied it will go to the label insert so there we will write move al comma care what is our care care is 7 so 7 will be copied into the accumulator register first and from there it will be copied into the content of si wherever si is pointing there it will it will store the content of al al is having 7 so that 7 will be copied into that memory location so like that uh, we can uh, what uh, insert a new character at the end of the string so let us see it's a simulation i mean uh, execution part masm3 dot the file name is 3 here so i am compiling uh, assembling the program masm3 dot asm so i got 0 errors 0 warnings then the next step is link link3 dot obj then debug debug 3.exe now uh, you see i will uh, go with t enter and i will open you the memory and show you what are our inputs you can see our input hanu dollar is stored we have defined first our input hanu dollar the string str then i give five duplicate value you can see the dots here after that i give character seven right so if i execute the program up to the end by giving the command g enter and if you open the memory again d space zero now you can see here that dollar is replaced by seven so we got a new character inserted at the end so and there is no confusion your input input data seven which was there here is very far away from the string so that's why uh, we give five duplicate values to store that character at a separate memory location and we got the output here this is the output anu seven so like this we will work with the program how to insert a new character at the end of the string Thank you.